They tried to stop me, they tried to drop me. They put 8 million pixels on a screen to co-op me, and yet they still can't stop me. You see, I freed myself so I can be myself, cause being someone else is bad for my health. Hey yo, how you guys doing? It's your Coach Renz back one more time. Now, in the previous video, if you haven't seen that one, you might want to go watch that one. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. You know, that's the one about planting seeds and getting your ROI on your harvest. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at it. And then come on back over here and check this video out. Because at the tail end of that video, I said there's a difference between manifesting and creation. A sweet elixir of life, baby. See, there's a difference between manifesting and creating. But before I get there, let me set the stage. You know, in my journey of a thousand steps, I often run against people who tell me a lot about what they want to accomplish and what they want to have. They tell me about the life that they envision, the things that are on their bucket list, how they want to travel the world and, and have nice cars and shop and, and have that loved one in their life and be in shape and be healthy. And you know, they tell me so many things that they want to have. They tell me about that dream occupation or that business that they have that's ready to burst from the seams. They tell me all this. All these things that's going around in a circle in their mind. So they're telling me all these things and I'm listening. Then after I listen, I ask the question, what does your work ethic look like? How many hours a day do you spend working on what's going to achieve these dreams? You see, this title says something to the effect, because I haven't decided what the title's gonna be yet, about manifesting or manifesting or creating the amount of money that you want in order to leave your job and have the lifestyle that you want to have. The title will be some amalgamation of that. But in order for that to happen, if you're in a situation where you hate your job or you're doing a work that you don't particularly care for or doesn't pay you what's necessary in order for you to be able to fulfill your dream, because if you got a billion dollar lifestyle in your mind, but you have a $50,000 job, just is a gulf. There's, there's a big hole, there's a big Grand Canyon that we gotta go over, a chasm we must jump, you know, evil can evil that thing. So the question is, first of all, let's get, a, 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 get, get to an understanding of what it is that you really wanna have in your life, what's really going to make you happy. See, I get a lot of people on here, in person, coaching, who talk to me about the fact that they wanna start a business. And I have to ask, you know, is your mouth writing checks that your work ethics can't cash? Yeah, I know that might hurt your feelings. It's okay, pit pat to your little heart. But is you, are, are you, you, you writing checks with your mouth? You know, I like to call those kind of people, you know, mouth of manures. I mean, I mean, I mean, mouth, mouth of preneurs, mouth of preneurs, sorry, not mouth of manures, but mouth of preneurs, not, not entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs, there's a difference. See, I like to call them that in my head and sometimes out loud, depending upon if the person needs a swift kick in the pants. I like to call them that because the question is, are you just talking trash? Are you just pouring things out of your mouth and not really having the work ethics or the talent or the go-to, the, the get up and go get it, or the resourcefulness to go and achieve it. I mean, I, I asked the question. Gotta ask that question. You know, what, what, what is it for you? The thing about it is, if you wanna manifest something, you gotta have a certain type of ethics about yourself in order to manifest it. But here's the thing, here's the, here's the kick in the pants. Manifesting is not about creating something. You see, the house that you want to have in life is already created. The, the person, your soulmate, already created. The, the clothes, created. The cars, created. The places you want to visit, already created. The methodology for you to get there is already created. Manifesting is not about creating. Manifesting is making visible what is in front of you in order to have it making visible what is in front of you to have it, whether it is a path of a, journey, of a thousand steps, whether it is the full materialization of it or the people or the contact, making it present in your knowing, making being able to see it, that's manifesting. That's what manifesting is. Creating 
is to be able to bring it out of nothingness. To bring it out of, it, it's something that does not exist right now, but you're able to make it exist. But before we can get to creating, we first have to master manifesting. You see, many of you right now, the pathway to get to your thousand step is already before you. You just can't see it. You won't open your eyes enough to see it. You know, you won't open your chakra so your third eye be clear so you can see it. Remember, there's a thing that says that in the wisdom, let thine single eye be clear. If you allow your single eye to be clear, it will manifest in front of you what it is, the pathway, the product, the persons, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you, and want is the wrong word actually, because we don't have, we have to get past an idea of wanting for something and realize it's already present and then to be it. See, it's about coming into the being of something. You see, before I had Uncle Ren's popcorn, I already had Uncle Ren's popcorn. I was already operating as if I already had it. Like, I am, I, I'm already operating as if I'm standing on a stage of 10,000 people surrounding me or 100,000 people in the audience. I'm already being the things that's the, a, a coach to millions of people. And even though my being and some people who are realists would look at me and say, well, you're only coaching a few, you know, tens and twenties and thirties of people. My being, my being, my, 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 my whole life, I am coaching. I coach as if I'm coaching millions. I'm coaching like I am already coaching, you know, the top executives of the world, the top sports athletes of the world, the top musicians, the top business people of the world. Are, I'm topping the top potential people of this world whom I really want to coach is the top potential people, those who have that ability because I love to see people grow. So you have to be, you have to be in a state of being, a state of gratitude as if it's already present because guess what? It is. All time has already occurred. All things are already present for you. The roadway to your house, the roadway to that house, to, to that car, to that person, to whatever it is you want in life is already present. You just have to open up your eyes to see it. And if you need somebody to go along that path of a thousand steps with you so that you can manage the 10,000 things in order to get there, then open your eyes to see it so that you can have that in your life. See, many people, like I said, are writing checks with a mouth that they work ethics won't cash. But you gotta open up your third eye, open up your chakras, clean your aura, which means remove negativity off and around you to be able to do that. So I hope you guys have a great day, enjoy yourself. But as you enjoy yourself, remember, if you want it, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Write checks your mouth can cash. Write checks that your ethics can cash. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy yourself. This is your Coach Ren, namaste.